students welcome to today's session this is shweta roy your english master teacher at vedantu and hope all you all of you are doing great so today we are going to begin with a fresh chapter a new chapter and a very beautiful and inspirational chapter for all of us my childhood from your ncert class 9 moments right so now let's move ahead with the chapter with a gentle reminder about online education so guys what are the problems that we face about education when we talk about studies when we talk about uh, exams when we talk about education what are the problems generally faced by the students let's talk about that doubts we have lots of doubts notes test and assignments competitive exams choice of schedule choice of language these are the problems that you face right no longer you have to face these problems why because we have come up with a solution all your problems solved along with bonus unlimited live classes micro course crash course performance report personalized attention how is it this link guys quickly visit this link choose your grade choose your code check out the details click on get subscription and finally you have subscribed you have three kinds of subscription one month three months six months and you can see the difference in price before coupon after coupon now what is this coupon i will tell you i will tell you don't worry so you have this for one month three months and six months this is the link and this is the coupon code swr pro do not forget shweta roy pro so jaldi 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 guys hurry up and do not miss out this amazing opportunity and amazing discount where you will get you will have you know you will be able to avail the amazing features in a great discount where you are not going to get this discount anywhere else without the application of the coupon code so come on guys apply this coupon code and get yourself subscribe become a part of our vedantu family you will have an amazing experience that is guaranteed so now let's talk about my childhood so my childhood is an excerpt which is actually taken from wings of fire which was an autobiography written by apj abdul kalam right so where he talks about his childhood so that is quite interesting to know about the childhood of such an amazing personality and definitely we are going to learn a lot we are going to ins be inspired by the wonderful personality uh, apj abdul kalam so all of you know about apj abdul kalam i believe right so yes uh, he was an aerospace scientist and politician you know that he was the 11th president of india right from 2002 to 2007 he was the president of india and he was born and raised in rameshwaram tamil nadu and uh, he studied physics and aerospace engineering and he was an aerospace scientist as well so we have divided this chapter into four parts today we are going to discuss the first half of the story along with some of the important questions so we will begin this story with a wonderful quote which is by yes the person about whom we are studying that is enan other than apj abdul kalam and he says i am not handsome but i can give my hand to someone who needs help because beauty is required in heart and not in face that is a very thought provoking quote given by mr kalam and that we should take care and i mean that we should carry forward in our lives as well and that is also quite relevant in the you know in the in the lesson because in the lesson he also talks about when he talks about his childhood he also talks about his looks so when we will deal with that portion we will revisit this quote once again so with that we start off with the lesson apj abdul abdul kalam he was born if you have seen the movie i am kalam you can definitely if you haven't seen then definitely you can watch you will have great inspiration right 
so th this is an like abj abdul kalam is an influential personality and we can learn a lot from the, such great personalities right so he was born into a middle class tamil family where is his place of birth rameshwaram is an island town in the state of tamil nadu right in the bay of bengal right you can see over there rameshwaram kahan pe hai right so today we know this state as tamil nadu when but when he was born at that time it was known as madras so older name was madras and today the name has changed and now we know it as tamil nadu so apj abdul kalam talks about his father zainu labidin that is that is the name of his father and he was not very rich so financially he was not very from very well to do family uh, and he did not have much wealth nor he was highly educated and received a great formal education despite the fact despite these disadvantages so what are the disadvantages that abdul kalam talks about his family his fa about his father not being rich and not being highly educated formally however he had some very positive qualities that is he is he was very wise and he was also very generous so generosity and wisdom were the qualities that were uh, you know that his father had and next talking about his mother he was she was ashiyamma okay and he says in the story that uh, Ash, uh, his father had a very he was fortunate to have uh, you know her, uh, his mother as his mate as his partner right she used to help his father a lot she was a great support for him and uh, she was also very generous and kind hearted and every day she used to feed a lot of people and abdul kalam says that more and more uh, you know people like uh, they when they used to have their food they he always saw that people from outside the family were more in number than people from uh, within the family so she used to feed everyone so she was so kind hearted she was so large hearted right so she had she fed a greater number of people from outside than the total number of families that they had family members in their family question time guys question time draw a character sketch of kalam's mother so what have you learned and about kalam's mother please comment in the comment section next about his siblings also he talks right he describes that he had a short height okay and common looks as he said that i am not handsome as i told you about i, I also uh, you know gave you the, that quote by apj abdul kalam where he mentions that i am not handsome but i uh, am always ready to extend my hand to the people to someone who is in need right so on the contrary his parents they were very they were having a great personality they were tall and handsome they were all good looking however apj abdul kalam says that i did not inherit their physical qualities so he says that beauty however is not on the face but inside someone's heart so that he had definitely he was very kind hearted and abdul kalam's ancestral house was very old it was built in the 19th century it was a pakka house which was made of bricks and limestone it was located on the mo uh, mosque street in rameshwaram so this is these are the details that he mentions about his house so please take care of the details where was kalam's ancestral house situated guys please do mention in the chat box right away next he says that his father used to avoid any kind of inessential comfort and luxury so his father was a very simple man right so uh, you have heard that simple living high thinking so his father followed that principle right he provided them with all the necessary things necessary items were there there was no problem with the necessary items however his father disliked inessential luxuries and comfort right so all the necessary food clothes medicines were always available however he did not like the inessential and unnecessary luxuries so uh, he says that his parents fulfilled all his needs whether it was any tangible thing that is any materialistic object or which was necessary obviously or uh, their love or affection right so he received all the love and affection of their of his parents right 
and uh, he shows his gratitude towards his parents he is thankful to his parents for whatever they have done to him now he was 8 years old abdul kalam was 8 years old when the second world war broke out if you remember from your history lessons the second world war started at uh, in the year 1939 i think 1939 to 45 was the period of second world war 1914 to 1919 was the first world war theek hai mera bhi history acha tha waise okay so abdul kalam's brother is uh, brother in law uh, used to tell him the stories about the ongoing war so he was just 8 years old so he used to read the newspaper uh, dinamani and used to look for the news of the same stories when did the second world war begin come on guys this you should know so please put down your answer in the chat box right away next what happened as you know that india was forced to take part in the war at that time india was under british domination so definitely india was forced by them to take part in the war and it was not affected by the second world war in the beginning but after some time it was forced to join the allied forces right and there was a state of emergency that was declared in the country so why was there a state of emergency which was declared in india just now we discussed hope you were attentive and hope you would be able to answer next is the first impact of the second world war was on the people that was on there on the people of rameshwaram was the cancellation of the train stoppage at rameshwaram station so now the train which used to stop at rameshwaram station would no longer stop with this the newspaper bundle which used to come to rameshwaram was thrown out from the moving train right as it reached the rameshwaram road so just imagine the kind of difficulty faced by these people what was the first impact of world war second world war for the people of rameshwaram that is the question that i want all of you to answer so abdul kalam's cousin was samsuddin and he used to dis distribute the newspapers in rameshwaram as the train stoppage was cancelled now what happened the train or the newspaper bundle was thrown away thrown out from the moving train and he needed someone to catch that right so he was being helped by abdul kalam none other than apj abdul kalam he helps uh, he helped his cousin by catching the bundle and then finally distributing in return samsuddin also paid him the salary and that was the first earning of abdul kalam which he mentions in the text as well so how did he earn his living for the first time by helping his cousin to distribute the newspaper when uh, when there was the world war second and emergency was declared there was the stoppage of train at the rameshwaram station and newspaper had to be thrown out right and he was the one to catch them how did kalam help his cousin so that is all for today guys and i hope you have now we will move ahead with the story in the next part this is just the first half of the story we are going to move ahead with the second part lot is left to be covered guys and please 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 from uh, whatever you have done till now okay i want all of you to think about what are the qualities that you can inherit from this immensely wonderful personality apj abdul kalam do not forget to point it out do not forget to drop your comment in the comment section what are the qualities what have you learned so far from uh, apj abdul kalam's personality and how can you inculcate those in your life before you sign off before i sign off again a reminder to avail this amazing opportunity of becoming a part of our vedanta family and to make your learning flawless choose your grade choose your board check out the details click on get subscription you have one month subscription three month subscription six month subscription do not forget to apply the coupon code swrpro and visit the link that is there in the screen so do not forget that and thank you so much do not forget to hit the like button please do hit the like button guys and 
please show your support please show your love by uh, subscribing staying subscribe staying tuned sharing with your friends and hitting the like button thank you so much take care bye bye see you again in the next session